Welcome to Hoi An, the most beautiful and captivating ancient cities in Vietnam. Situated on the banks of the Thu Bon River, approximately 30 kilometers from Da Nang, Hoi An is a typical well-preserved ancient cities in Southeast Asia. In this video, we got you through essential information, must-visit destination, local cuisine delights and memorable experience awaiting you in Hoi An. Hoi An's trading ports were established around the 16th century, flourishing in the 17th and 18th century. During its heyday, Hoi An was one of the busiest trading ports in Southeast Asia, serving as a hub for trade and commerce for ships from Japan, China and some European countries. Most of the houses here were built from the 17th to the 19th century, scattered along narrow streets. The prevalent architectural style in these areas often featured two houses, brick walls and yin-yang tile roof. Interspersed among the townhouses are religious architectural structure, representing the process of formation, development and cultural convergence of the urban areas. Hoi An is influenced by a tropical climate with two distinct seasons, rainy and dry. The dry season lasts from February to August, while the rainy season spans from September to January. The average annual temperature is around 26 degrees Celsius. In winter, temperature can drop to about 12 degrees Celsius, but it is not prolonged. The ideal time to visit the city is from February to June when the climate is pleasant and rainfall is minimal. The city of Hoi An belongs to Wannan province and is situated approximately 30 kilometers from Da Nang. Since Hoi An neither has an airport nor a train station, the easiest way to reach is from Da Nang. Adding a bit more information about Da Nang, it is the largest city in the central Vietnam region with modern transportation infrastructure including an airport, railway stations and bus terminals. Da Nang and Hoi An are inseparable tourist destinations for many travellers. From Da Nang, you can reach Hoi An by taxis or motorbike. The cost of a taxi ride is about $15. If you are skilled in riding a motorbike, traveling to Hoi An by motorbike is a great option as the coastal route connecting Da Nang and Hoi An is easy and scenic. You can rent a motorbike in Da Nang for around $7 per day. An update is that the Butts Route 01 connecting Da Nang with Hoi An has ceased operation. However, two localities are preparing to introduce a modern bus route, LK02, which is expected to be operational in the near future. This is anticipated to be the main means of transportation connecting the two cities in the future. Regarding accommodation, Hoi An is a major tourist destination in Vietnam, so finding a suitable place to stay in the city is not difficult. Homestays are the top choice for lodging. These houses are carefully designed with the distinctive architecture and interior of the ancient town, providing you with a more intimate experience with the locals. The prices of homestay here are quite reasonable, ranging from $10 per night, and they increase as you get closer to the ancient town. Resort are another option catering to upscale accommodation and leisure needs, typically situated along the coastline. When one mentioned Hoi An, the ancient town immediately spring to mind. However, the city offers numerous other marvelous destinations beyond the confines of the ancient town. To ensure you easily grab this information and don't miss out on other fascinating destinations, we categorize the attraction in Hoi An into two types, those within the ancient towns and those outside of it. The ancient town is located entirely within Menan Ward, covering an area of about 2 square kilometers with short and narrow street arranged in a chessboard pattern. The admission ticket for the ancient town is $5 per person for 24 hours. Here's a glimpse of the famous landmarks in the ancient town. 
the Japanese covered bridge or to a goal in Vietnam is an iconic landmark of Hoi An, constructed in the 17th century by Japanese merchants. The bridge features distinctive architecture with its wooden structure, approximately 18 meters long, covered roof spanning over a canal floating into the Thu Won River. With a history of over 400 years, the bridge is currently undergoing restoration due to severe deterioration. Next to the Japanese covered bridge is the Phung Hung Ancient House, built by a Vietnamese merchant in 1780, during the prosperous periods of Hoi An's trading port. The architecture of the house is influenced by three cultural backgrounds, Japanese, Chinese and Vietnamese. The predominant construction material is wood for the frame, brick for the walls and yin yang tile roofed. Many columns, beams and rafter are intricately carved. The Tân Kỳ Old House is a unique architectural James in the ancient town of Hoi An, constructed in 1741. From the outside, Tân Kỳ House resembles many other ancient houses in Hoi An ancient town. However, what set it apart from hundreds of other ancient houses is the exquisite fusion of Chinese, Japanese and Vietnamese architectural styles. The ancient town is home to a total of five assembly halls serving as community centers for the Chinese community, including Phúc Kiến, Trung Hoa, Jiu Zhou, Wing Phu, and Guan Dong. These assembly halls are all located along Tuan Phu Street, facing the Tu Won River. Among them, the Phúc Kiến or Phu Kiến assembly hall is the largest stretching from Tuan Phu Street to Phan Chou Ching Street. Hoi An is a hub for many museum and exhibition areas, each showcasing different historical and artistic values. Some notable museums include Hoi An Folk Culture Museum, exhibiting artifacts related to the culture, history and life of Hoi An's people past and present. Hoi An Trade Ceramic Museum, showcasing ceramic related to the international trade history. Sahuin Culture Museum, preserving over a thousand artifacts related to the ancient Sahuin culture. Hoi An History and Culture Museum, displaying artifacts and documents about Hoi An ancient town from past to present. Escaping the crowds and delving into the tranquil beauties of the villages surrounding Hoi An ancient town, you would truly be amazed by the hidden destination beyond this ancient town. Anban Beach, located about 5 kilometers from Hoi An ancient town, is consistently nominated as one of the most beautiful beaches in Vietnam. Featuring over 4 kilometers of white sandy shores and crystal clear water, this is the perfect place for relaxation after a long day of walking around the ancient town. About 40 kilometers from Hoi An ancient town lies another UNESCO heritage site, Mission Sanctuary. This complex comprises numerous chamber temples within a valley approximately 2 kilometers in diameter. The site encompasses 70 temple towers dating from the 7th to the 13th century. With continuous constructions and development over century, the temple towers exhibit diversity in charm architectural style and ancient artistry. Bay Mau Coconut Forest is a famous ecotourism destination in Hoi An, located about 3 km from the ancient town. This tourist area offers many unique experiences associated with the waterways. Visitor can literally cruise along the shaded coconut-like canal on bamboo basket boats, watch bow dance performance, and indulge in Hoi An specialties. Thang Ha Pottery Village is a long-standing traditional craft village in Hoi An, situated around 3 km from the ancient town. Established in the 16th century alongside the development of the Hoi An trading port, Thang Ha became a renowned pottery village with its products distributed widely. Today, the village has evolved into a complex offering diverse experiential activities related to pottery craft.
alongside the development of the Hoi An trading port. Its cuisine reflects a blend of various cultures. However, Hoi An still retains its unique and distinctive dishes, reflecting the flavors of central Vietnam. Begin your culinary journey in Hoi An with Gao Lau, a signature dish you hardly find elsewhere. This dish consists primarily of two main ingredients, noodle and pork. What makes Gao Lau distinctive lie in its pale yellow noodles, made from rice soaked in water and filled with ash from a Pacific tree on Cham Island. The pork is marinated, then braised until it's turned into a captivating brick red color, known as sassy pork. Notably, the dish features very little broth derived from the sassy pork sauce itself. Gallo is served with a variety of greens such as mustard green, basil, and lettuce. Mi Wan is another specialty noodle dish in Hoi An, which at first glance may resemble Gallo in terms of colors, presentation, and a comedy vegetable. However, the two dishes differ significantly in preparation method and flavors. The noodle in Mi Wan are simpler, flatter, and made from rice flour. The toppings for Mi Wan are also more diverse, including pork, chicken, shrimp, snake head fish, and quail eggs. Mi Wan is served with a larger amount of broth, which is similar from pork bones and chicken meat. Bánh mì, a familiar name in Vietnamese cuisine, takes on a new level in Hoi An, described as a symphony within a sandwich by the lay chef Anthony Bourdain. Essentially, bánh mì is a Vietnamese-style baguette with a crispy crust and a soft and fluffy inside. In Hoi An, bánh mì is smaller and sharper compared to other regions across the country. The filling typically includes pâté, butter, grilled chicken, Vietnamese-style char siu pork, Vietnamese sausage, fresh herbs, cucumber, and pickled vegetables. In the final part of the video, we suggest some exciting activities when visiting this beautiful ancient town. A boat trip along the Hoi River is a memorable experience when visiting Hoi An. The Hoi River is a branch of the Thuban River winding through the heart of the ancient town. At nightfall, the entire ancient town is illuminated by colorful lanterns, casting shimmering reflection on the river, creating a magnificent scene. Skillful boatmen navigate their small boats along the river, allowing you to admire the street on both sides. Renting a boat costs around $9 for four people for a 30 minute ride. Additionally, you can purchase a paper lantern for about 50 cents and release it onto the river, carrying your wishes along with it. An unmissable traditional game in Hoi An is Bai Joy. It's a folk art form and traditional game of central Vietnam, recognized by UNESCO as a representative and tangible cultural heritage of humanity in 2017. Bai Joy, literally meaning cards and bamboo huts, featuring nine bamboo huts set up on a spacious areas along the Hoi River, divided into two rows, each with four huts for players, accommodating one to three players per hut. The central hut is for the game master. At the start of the game, each hut receives three cards. The game master sings folk songs and gives clues for players to get their cards. Though not a sprawling city, Hoi An holds profound experiential value. Every street, corner, and yellow huge house is a fascinating stop. Come to Hoi An and share your thoughts about the city. See you in Hoi An.